Hi all and welcome back to Next Stage Designs. My name is Sylvia and in today's video I am going to show you how to sew another really fast and super easy face mask. So for today's mask I'll be using this very light uh, cotton uh, denim fabric but you can use any cotton fabric you have or also you can uh, reuse your old clothes but Please make sure it's 100% cotton. I'm using my old skirt again because I got loads of fabric left. And you can also use um, bed sheets are great for the mask because it's 100% cotton. Also, you will need a stretchy t-shirt. This one is my old t-shirt. And uh, if you don't have the elastic bands, we are going to create our own. Also, you will need a tape measure or the ruler, also some scissors, pencil, some pins, very, very handy. The chalk, if you don't have the chalk, not to worry, you can use the pencil. And also be using this really, really handy clip. You can find it when you buy the bread, so you can close your bread bag with it. And now we'll be using it for our mask again. So you can adjust it better on top of your nose. Okay, dokie. So with our fabric, we are going to cut a big rectangle and it will be 40 centimeters and 20 centimeters wide. Now for this side, we will fold both sides half of the centimeters in only once and once you got it ready like me we are going to do top stitching about three millimeters from this edge so we catch it completely it will be somewhere here Before you do the top stitch, we are going to press it. We are going to do so on both sides, top stitching three millimeters from the edge. For the next part we will be measuring on the right side and we will be uh, marking as well on the right side next i mark the halves at the top and at the bottom and i done it this way so i fold in my fabric in half and i then mark inside and on the other side and it's a good idea to press the fabric now as well so we have nice and sharp edge so once you pressed your fabric we are going to open it and we go one half now we will be measuring on the right side not to worry if you have the marks on the fabric we are going to wash this mask in the washing machine anyway so not to worry about the marks so we are going to measure from the half to this edge and we should have 19 centimeters now we are going to measure 19 centimeters and we are going to divide it by four so it's 475 475 once for 75 second time for 75 and we should have one two three four like this and we're gonna do so on the bottom as well and on this side as well And 
and we are going to do exactly the same on this side. And now we are ready to create our pleats. I just mark with the cross one plate here, one plate here, and exactly the same here, and it will help us a little bit. Now we are going to fold our pleat. We are going to start from the right and bury this first line. We are going to fold it and bring it to this line here. So we're gonna bring it like so and make sure the lines are sitting nicely on top of each other like so and place some pins like so so the next split we are going to start from here so we're gonna grab this line and we will bring it to the pleat we created earlier on so make sure you fold it exactly where is your line like so and bring it to the middle like this and now you can place your pins make sure they meet exactly in the middle these folds from both sides now at the bottom and place a pin you should get something like this i like to turn my fabric this way again so we won't get confused so once you hold it bring it to this line here fold it and to this line here and again make sure the lines are nicely on top of each other place the pins like so and again grab this line and bring it to the other pleat like this and place the pins And you should get something like this. And once you got your pleats prepared like so, we are going to press it. Before you press it, please make sure the edges are nicely touching each other. And once you press it, we are ready to move to the next step. So for the next step, you will need two of these v, uh, two elastic bands, 16 centimeters long. But not to worry, if you don't have it, I am going to show you how to prepare this as well. So to prepare your elastic bands for your face mask, you simply take your old t-shirt. It's stretchy as well. And we are going to create our cord and to create our cord we are going to mark make sure before we start you cut the bottom of your t-shirt and you have this edge nice and straight and we simply mark two centimeters all the way like so And 
and once you got it marked like me we are going to cut it out cut this side seam and you will have a strip like this now you simply pull it as much as you can all the way stretch it stretch it stretch it and there you have it a beautiful very very comfy and stretchy cord for your mask and you should have two of these ready for your mask so we can sew it in so for the next step we'll be placing our cords on this side so from the edge to the middle so this is our middle fold because we are going to fold it in half like so but before we do so we are going to place our cords like so one and on the other side and then twist them like this but we are going to fold it in half like so and now you can place the pins So we have one cord here and place a pin and one at the bottom and now place a pin and do so on the other side so we got our cords inside prepared and they are staying nicely in the place and your mask should be folded exactly in half like so and these pleats should be on top of each other as well so one more pin here And we are going to sew on the sides and sew one centimeter on each side and before we start I wanted to say make sure it's a little bit away from the edge your cord about three millimeters okay from this edge here one centimeter and once you got it done your sides we are going to turn it inside out and make sure you won't hurt yourself and take all the pins out because we don't need them anymore And you should get something like this not to worry about these holes of course we are going to press it and they're gonna disappear so now we have this pocket for the filter this pocket would be too big for your filter and it will fall off of course so we are going to make it only small so we are going to do the top stage to close this uh, pocket but not completely but before we do so 
we are going to insert our clip for the nose okay so take your clip if you don't have it not to worry you can use a wire or but make sure if you use the wire just fold the sides so it's not too sharp so my clip is inside as you can see and uh, if you are not sure where is the middle of course you're gonna fold your mask in half and you can place the pin or just mark it with your chalk so this is my middle here and uh, my chalk like this my safer and uh, fold your clip in half so this is your middle now we know we are going to enter the inside and make it nice and straight because we are going to sew it in so we need the clip to be nice and flat okay so this is my half and i'm straightening the clip so it's nice and straight and it's in the middle as you can see and i'm going to place the pin under my clip so it won't fall out and now we are going to do a top stitch just under this clip but i'm going to start from here then i'm gonna go down here okay and once i'm done i'm gonna do the sides so it stays nicely in the place so let's go So we have our clip in secured on the sides all we need to do we are going to do top stitching to close this hole and i want you to leave about six to seven centimeters in the middle so i'm going to do top stitch from here i'm going to start in this corner and I'm, I'll be doing top stitching about three millimeters, two to three millimeters from the edge. And I'm going to go from this side down and I will try to match this uh, top stitching. And I'm going to end up somewhere here. And then I will do exactly the same on this side. And I'm going to go somewhere here. And we are going to leave six to seven centimeters um, gap so we can insert our filter inside i think six to seven should be just right okay i'm gonna go with seven centimeters to mark seven centimeters you just fold it in half and uh, three and a half Okay, so we have three and a half here and on the other side as well so we know where is our cup if you want it smaller it's up to you of course so we are going to do top stitching from here to this point and then on the right side from here down and try to match this stitching and finish here so this will be our gap for the filter and of course if you want you can place the pins so it won't move that much like so and let's go 
going to do this side first, the right side, about two millimeters from the edge. If it's too difficult for you, you can you can do three millimeters. It's up to you. It's your mask. And make sure they split are nicely together. We don't want any gap here. Okay, so it should be together like so. And this is it, guys. This is our super fast and very easy mask with the pocket for your filter, adjustment for your nose, and it goes behind your ears and it's gonna open like so. Not to worry, these are our marks. We're gonna wash it anyway because after all this touching your mask, don't forget to wash your mask in very high temperature and after every time you wear it so if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to like my video share my video and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs thank you very much for watching and stay safe